Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I just got done organizing and cleaning my pantry, and so I'm doing the intro now, but this video is super special to me because this channel started with a pantry before and after. That was the very first video I put on this channel, and so I was like, oh my gosh, it's been almost a year now that we have had this channel, and I'm ready to clean out my pantry again. So definitely check out that video. I'll link it in the iCard because that was a crazy transformation. I got new bins that I'm still using today. And so today's video is definitely a huge transformation as well, but I didn't do any like reorganizations because the organization that I Im implemented last year has really been working. I'm not gonna really show you too much because I want you guys to see the before and after. So here's the before of the pantry. It got crazy i knew i wanted to film this video so i kind of let it get even crazier <laughs> week by week i kept putting this video off so the pantry just kept getting worse and worse and worse so that's the before and i'm excited to show you guys the after we are going to get right into it and then we'll see what it looks like at the end so i decided to start from the top down and i was listening to some music so you will see me dancing a lot and singing a lot in this video it's kind of embarrassing um but i am starting from the top down because i know that there are a lot of things that are out of place and so i'm just taking everything off of this this shelf putting it on the floor going through it and then putting everything back up on the shelf Last time I did this pantry organization, I think I took every single thing out and then put everything back in, but this time I'm I'm just going shelf by shelf. Sorry, I'm laughing at myself singing and dancing. This stuff was pretty much already ready to go. There were some things that were expired, so I threw it away, but everything else I kind of just wanted to organize. We had some lollipops from Jane's birthday that I decided just to put in our lollipop jar instead of having them on that cardboard box. And then I was just checking the expiration dates of everything else. And then there was also a bag of sugar up at the top, and so that didn't belong up there. But everything else I just went ahead and put back up on the shelf. For the next three shelves, I didn't take everything down because I basically just had to go through and make sure things weren't old and things were in the places they needed to be. And this, these shelves already had bins from the last time I did this video, and so it was a lot easier for me to just go through each bin instead of having to take everything off of the shelf and then put everything back on. So I'm sorry about the awkward um, angles here as well. You can hardly see what I'm doing because I'm having to be in the pantry and the pantry is small. So I did the best I could with the angles. So I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. This shelf had so much stuff. A lot of it was expired. A lot of it was out of place. Things needed to go in other places. Um, and there were things that could be condensed into some other boxes. Like I had doubles of things and they could be condensed together. So that's basically what I'm doing. Just organizing and moving things around and making sense of where things were. Because before I didn't even know what we had because everything was so scattered around.
So the messiest part of this pantry is the floor. It always is the floor. This is where we keep everything that we get from Sam's Club. So with it being bulk orders, there's just a lot of things and a lot of big boxes on the floor and things can get moved around and not put back in their place. And so again, I'm kind of condensing things. Um, as you could see, the goldfish only had one more little bag of goldfish. So I took the little bag out to put up on the shelf instead of having the huge cardboard box on the floor with just one little bag. And then um, the Nutrigrain bars can go into the place where we have the Nutrigrain bars and the protein bars and things like that up on the shelf instead of being on the floor as well. So this is just kind of making room for more things from Sam's Club, but also organizing um, and so it doesn't look like a total disaster. And again, I knew what we had. So the last thing I had to do, this is our recycling bin and I just needed to break down all the boxes because it was overflowing and the boxes were huge. There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want There's no denying all right guys, this is the after of the pantry. It looks so much better. We still have a ton of food. I don't know what it is. Chris and I like, like we have so many like spices and marinades and stuff like that. So I am going to go through and show you guys what all the shelves are for because it is, even if it doesn't look super organized, it is definitely organized. So up here we have obviously our like bags and foil and parchment paper and stuff. This container is for all of our baking stuff. So we have like candles and vanilla extract and cocoa and pecans, all the baking stuff up here. And then this has some lollipops for the kids. Here's all of our extra lollipops. We bought this at Sam's Club like two years ago and we still have so many. And then just like a fun thing for popcorn, um, little bags and stuff. Then here is where we keep all of our chips and Cheez-Its and pretzels and goldfish and more crackers than crackers. And then in these two bins, we have lots of Nutrigrain bars, protein bars, um, the little chewy bars that the kids like, these chocolate bars. They're just kind of thrown in there. I used to try to keep them like nicely stacked like this, but it's just easier to have it like this. Um, we have crackers here. Um, these are Pringles that we had we got at Sam's Club a long time ago, and we only had a few left, so I put them in here. They used to be in a box down on the floor. And then some popcorn behind there. And then this is where we keep all of our breads and rice cakes and peanut butter. We have some breakfast stuff, Pop-Tarts and oatmeal. And then these little things, we have the kids' um, gummies that they like, and then peanuts. And then this is where we keep like our cookies and then cereals. And then down here in this bin, we have like noodles and rice and quinoa and then more noodles. And then all three of these are just like um, vinegars and spices, like spices that are not like just regular ba basil or something. This is like different mixtures. So like different you know, not just like time or whatever, because we have all of that in a, a different drawer in our kitchen. And then we have get all these from Sam's Club, like our chili seasoning and our taco seasonings and rubs and Old Bay, and you, you guys get all the idea. And then down here we have our canned goods and then um, just like extra pasta sauce. This is where we keep our um, pancakes, extra barbecue sauce. And then this is like sugar and flour and brown sugar and powdered sugar and all of our oils and fish fry. And then down here is where we keep all of our big bulk things from Sam's Club. We do need to go to Sam's Club soon, so this will probably fill up more with like Cheez-Its, goldfish, stuff like that. Um, but for now, the coffee's back there and this is what it looks like. And then we keep our air fryer in here too. So that is it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it wasn't a huge transformation. I just had to really throw away a lot of things, put things back where they go, reorganize a tiny bit with some different things, and that was it. It was super quick. I was putting this video off. Okay. Anyways, I was putting this video off because I thought it was gonna take a really long time, but it really didn't. So, if you're putting off cleaning your pantry, I suggest you just give it a try. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I gotta go tend to my kids. 
Thank you guys so much for all your support and I'll see you in the next video.